With items win in NLBC 31, it's almost always a certainty that the succeeding two or even three weeklies will likely yield the same result. The only question that remains now, how many among the NLBC competitors will give IDOM a run for his money? Let's find out. Starting off with a winner's side match, we've got Art and his Dalsim going against Marvisto and his E-Honda that took down high-speed Chaos before going against the Dalsim player. Though Art tried to go aggressively against Marvisto, relentlessly pressuring his E-Honda in the corner, it would actually be Marvisto who would be more successful in applying the very same aggression towards Art and got his turn back. Due to E-Honda's command grabs, his offensive options were much more diverse in the corner when compared to Art's Dalsim. Looking like Art's initial approach wasn't as effective as he wanted it to be, he readjusted his strategy into what Dalsim had traditionally been successful in for the longest time slowly killing his opponent from afar. Pretty nicely so far here for Art. Still very dangerous. Marvisto has comeback factor, to say the least. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my god, it armored. It armored the viewers and he's in. And he still has comeback factor. So much comeback factor. Here it is. Knockdown. Dang, you get an OTG? I didn't even know. Today I learned. Honda. Crazy. Oh, he, sp he just did it. He and it hit. Reversal again. Nope, nope, nope. That's it. Many of the homies have already received their complimentary package. Thanks, guys. This is kind of working, actually. Yeah, he's going to fall on it. A DX into another one. He can defend himself with this for a while, actually. He doesn't have to commit anything. And nice. I like what he did there. That was clean. Good job, Bart. V Reversal did not work, but the poke did work. Man, he's, he's got to play stubborn right back. Is that what it is? V Reversal. Now nah, he's knocked down. And the strong. Yo, how big is his hand? Next up, another winner's side match. We've got CJ Truth and his Seth, who went through Unit KC85, Adnan NY, and finally Rue to face Prophet and his Gil, who first took down Stone, and then Chrissy Mendias to go against the Seth player. In this battle of Street Fighter bosses, with Seth having the better toolkit overall, it would seem like Gil's lore couldn't overcome the reality that Seth truly is a much better character than he is. That was, that was, that was not scary, Prophet. I'm not scared. You gotta scare me, bro. You gotta show me. Okay. That was alright chip wise. Okay, good check with the job. He's got a pretty nice lead. Looking for any type of confirm that he can find to close it out. Plus. Plus again. Okay, this time he V reversals. Dang, I don't even understand how far he's gonna get. He's not gonna get hit. Get in my belly. This is the power of the king! Alright. Am I a liar? Is he gonna come back? No! My jinx! Now look at the players who made it into top 8. First up, we've got the winner of our first featured match, Marvisto, who made it through by sending Kevin Malone Chili and then last week's champion, Idom, down to losers. There, he'll go against the winner of our second featured match, CJ Troop. Then we've got Fluxwave to reach top 8 by taking down Joey. There he'll go against last week's second runner-up, Spaceboy, who defeated Brian F to face Fluxwaves. Down in losers, we've got last week's champion, Idom, who made it into top 8 by eliminating just a dollar after being sent down to losers by Marvisto. There he'll be going against Prophet, who made it through by taking down Art after being sent down to losers by CJ Truth. Lastly, we've got Joey, who reached top 8 by eliminating Diego after being sent down to losers by Fluxwaves. There, he'll be going against Brian F, who got a free pass after verse 130 got disqualified. After making it into top 8, CJ Truth would then send Marvisto down to losers to advance to the winner's final where he'd go against Spaceboy and his Sakura, after the latter took down Fluxwaves. Perhaps seeing a character advantage that Seth did not have against Sakura, CJ Truth would pick Nikali against Spaceboy. But somehow, Spaceboy made it look like there wasn't any character advantage at all with his Sakura beating Nikali to the punch in the FTSE battle. And with that, CJ Truth opted to go in instead, relying on his jump-ins and Nikali's V-Skill 2 to make it easier. Once inside, CJ Truth would try to catch Spaceboy with one frame trap after another. Flex! Oh, his legs barely reached! That was a, that was a great low forward buffer. Thank you for all the subs, guys. We laser had, Dude! Laser Dude! We had Germs Sub. Dude, Laser Dude, Cavern Cat, Zwaiter Arg, and Spaceboy's gonna take game number one. It's about as big as it gets for our Street Fighter role. Uh, so crazy neutral right now, mm. and CJ just jumps in. One one. Just takes it. Nice. His jumps have been very good against those fireballs. It's a oh, done, 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 done. 
mad life. And we get the corner. No, 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 he's not dead. He's not dead. I know dead. he's not dead. He gets a mix up, though. Uh, he gets a mix up, though. Ooh, the... Wow. Yeah. Okay. Got mid-screen time. Ooh, he got it. Space boy. Nice back, though. Oh, the EX cancel tricked him, and the back throw for wow. Space Boy. Wow. Space Boy in the split tonight. After losing to CJ Truth, Morvisto would reach loser semifinal after eliminating Joey. There, he'd go against Idom and his Laura, who took down Prophet, and then fluctuates to face Morvisto. Surprisingly enough, Morvisto chose to fight with Street Fighter's poster boy Ryu instead of E Honda. But, despite being the most popular character in the entire series, it's been collectively agreed upon that this iteration of Ryu just doesn't have what it takes to win against those in the highest level of Street Fighter. Furthermore, against a Capcom Cup champion, this quick match just speaks for itself about the current state of the World Warrior. I gotta be in when you're in there, otherwise I'm gonna be behind. Until the next round. Overhead, got the combo. Again. Oh, well, we're, we're, of course he's scared. He got he ate two combos in a row, so naturally he's gonna down back and eat the throw. Dang, we almost have 100 subscribers of Team Spooky, by the way. Over the years, he, he's immortal. You can beat him, but can he beat him twice? Dang. Thank you, Huff can Monster. Can he beat him twice? Smoke can he beat him three times? Can he beat him four times? Can Bro, he beat him over and over? Up. Oh my god! Polymore, Hunter Days, thanks y'all. Also, oh my god, to this pressure. No, he can't play. He can't play. It don't was play. too good don't to play. be true, Chad. I'm sorry. It sorry. was too good don't to play. be true. But you know what? We're still going to hook you up, Lord Marvisto. You had an amazing performance over the past couple of days, brother. And we're going to make sure that you get hooked up. After eliminating Marvisto, Idom would advance to the loser's final to do the same to CJ Truth in a very close set. Afterwards, he'd move on to the grand final to go against Space Boy. Though you'd normally see Idom's lore just rush her way in the moment the round starts, he'd actually slow his pace down a little bit, perhaps wary of how good Space Boy Sakura is in scramble situations. Actually finding success by moving away from his usual rushdown strategy, the moment Idom does crank it up a little bit, Space Boy was well prepared to interrupt him and start his own offense. No MK, I know. Everybody that wants a block throw, so te that's why technically, the opened up. Technically, you can react to the VC though, technically. But it's kind of like at the edge of Seal, where if you're just nervous, you, you just won't see it sometimes. Also, he has the lightning trap really set up like, too. That that makes it hard. I even think it's really like reacting. It's just like fuzzy guarding low high. Fuzzy guard low high. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. You can't really see. Oh, you can try to fuzzy guard though to improve your chances. Down jab check by Dom. It's going to get him game number one. I think, oh, you're just scared of something else, or he's doing like the lightning traps and stuff. It's way harder to see it when that happens, or the cancels too. That so that basically hard means, so that basically means you can't see it because you're looking for everything. Exactly. Else. That's yeah. the thing about that. <laughs> yeah. one. That's also the game, though. You know, some people are just amazing and can block those. You know what I'm talking about? Ouch. This boy's got a guess. The X upper, he did guess, and the upper was good. He has a trigger. There it is. He's like, I'm just doing this in neutral. I need to actually. Whoa! Clashes. Fireballs. Woo, nice back dash. <laughs> <laughs> he, got, he got counted, dog. He's like a V-skill count. Oh, How many the times jump. I don't hit the, the V-skill? The jump. All right, that's a reset, boys and girls. With the brackets now reset, momentum is completely on Idom's side. Looking totally different from the first set, Space Boy was no longer able to stop Idom from pressuring him, spending most of the time pinned down in the corner. If she's getting out footsie, what does she do? She jumps or you either EX fireball to get it, right? Like a That's little it. MK expire it's or very, something like that. It's very, oh, he's it's not very getting like, out of this um, quarter. Very like do or die. Blowing it up. He says New York has eight Evo champions. Oh. oh that ain't bad. Thank you, New York. We also claim the ones that are not actually from New York. So, you know. <laughs> if, they, if they vacation nice. in New York once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got blocks. We got blocks. With Sunnit. Come on, Space Boy. You got a trigger. You have Mad Meter. This is definitely a round you can fight. Yes. It's gonna be hard though. He needs like two guesses. Ouch. One guess gone due to the offensive reversal. Supper, that's good. So now you need he two more guesses. No, no, so. Scouted. Scouted. So that's it for NLBC 32. Congratulations to IDOM for winning the weekly tournament once again. For more NLBC action, not only for Street Fighter V Champion Edition, but other fighting games as well, and a whole lot more, make sure to check out Team Spooky. Also, if you enjoy what I do, don't forget to show your support by leaving a like, sharing my video with your friends, and by subscribing so you won't miss out on the latest recap from my channel. That's it from me for now. Till next time.